Doris Lessing. She cast a Canopus in Argos archive series book one. At the time of the disaster, there were still not more than 60,000 giants and about a million and a half natives distributed over the Northern Hemisphere. The planet was amazingly fruitful and pleasant. The waters that released would recreate the swamps and marshes were still locked up in ice at the poles. And we could see no reason why this would change. There were great forests all over the northern and temperate zones and these were plentiful stocked with animals of all sorts. Differing from those of my later visits, mostly in size. These were not the enemies of the inhabitants. There were settlements in the north, even in extremes of climate, both giants and natives. But most of the population was settled further south, in the middle areas, where there was a sparkling, invigorating climate. The cities were established where the patterns of stone had been set up according to the necessities of the plan. Along the lines of force in the earth at that time, these patterns, lines, circles, arrangements were no different from those familiar to us on other planets and were the basis and foundation of the transmitting systems of the lock between Canopus and Rwanda, now poor Shikasta. The arranging and alignment of the stones had been done initially entirely by the giants, whose size and strength made the work easy for them. But by now the understanding between the giants and the natives was such that the natives wished to assist in a task which they knew was, as they put it in their songs and tales and legends, their link with the gods, with divinity. They did not see the giants as gods. They had developed beyond that. Their intelligence was so much greater because of the lock, that it was not far from that of the giants just before the lock. The cities had been built on the lines indicated by the experiments that had been so extensive in the long preparatory phase before the lock. They were of stone and were linked with the stone patterns as part of the transmitting system. Cities, towns, settlements of mud, wood or any vegetable material cannot disturb the transmitting process or set up unsuitable oscillations. It was for this reason that during the preparatory phase the giants discouraged stone as building material and themselves lived in houses of whichever organic substance was most convenient and to hand. Once the lock was established and the stone pattern set up and operative. The cities were rebuilt of stone and the natives were instructed in this art. So soon to be lost to the memory of Shikasta. For the plan was that when the natives had evolved to the adequate level, the giants would leave for another task somewhere else themselves evolved beyond anything that could have been envisaged by the handful from Col Colony 10, those many thousands of years ago. <laughs>